Oh my god, it's nighttime all of a sudden. What happened? Okay, so we're here at the Yellow Flower Grove. I just walked over here and made it nighttime. Because this is where the enemy is supposed to be. Now there's big worms dropping out. Or popping out. Dropping and popping. Um, those are definitely not the enemy we're looking for, though. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I know it's definitely not one of those worms. It could be a worm, though. There's always a chance it could be a worm. All I know is it comes out at nighttime. That's all I know. Most likely it doesn't pop out of the ground, though. And most likely whatever it is... Ah! Will attack me as soon as it sees me. And it is a worm. What the heck? It just looks like the other worms. How boring. I was hoping it was going to be like... If it was going to be a worm, it would be like... Huge and ginormous and just absolutely amazing. Alas, it's just like the other ones. Say lave, right? Say lave. You learn to live with disappointment when you play Xenoblade Chronicles because it's just such a downer all the time. Not really. I don't know how serious I could have said that. I guess on a day when my voice sounds so monotone, it makes sense that I would be able to say such things with such sarcasm and not laugh about them. It's also easy to keep my uh, tone so so down when I've been my getting mind fucked by having to wander so much. Like literally, I've been forced to wander a lot today, and mostly because of those first couple quests in Colony Nine. Man, those bitches made me walk more than anything else today. Ugh, don't get me started on that shit though. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so we did not find the monster at the X watering hole because we couldn't some we somehow could not make it a hot day. You know, what? screw that. I refuse to accept that. I'm going to go back there and I'm going to make that shit appear and I'll just see you when I'm fighting the shimmering forte or whatever the hell the name of that thing is. See you there. Okay, I finally found the damn shimmering forte. He's over here. He's kind of by the X-Warding Hole. He's more over to the east of it, near the other dinos. And he's just an asshole who wants to hide over here. And he only appears on a hot day, which just means it's slightly hazier than usual. I don't fucking know. It looks normal to me. It doesn't even look that much different. I mean, I guess it was slightly hazier. And the only real thing that made me notice that it was hotter was the fact that there were red red elements floating around the red little nebulas and they're hella high level and you don't want to fight them but that's the only way I could actually tell that it was hot otherwise I would have never known this guy was here because he looks just like the regular dino except for like slightly taller whatever he did that's all that fucking matters <sighs> now that he's dead we can head back to Frontier Village that sounds like a good idea, actually. So I'll just meet you there. Or... Nah, we'll just do it now. We don't need to meet anybody there. That only takes a moment of your time. I mean, shit, I've had a long... I've had long lulls between when I've been able to talk anyways. So how's everybody doing today anyways? I... <laughs> not... I know. It's, it's too late. We've already gone past that. I'm not going to go further with that conversation. We might not even be... We're probably in like the fourth episode of this and I'm now asking you how your day is. <laughs> I'm just a silly, silly man. Just a silly man. Back at Frontier Village. Now there's probably going to be new quests and plenty of quests to finish. That's for damn sure. Where all the people are who have quests that are done, have new quests that I haven't done, and all that... Well, that remains to be seen. I do remember needing to talk to Lady Magaga, and I'm pretty sure she or it is right around this area. In fact, there she is right there. Lady Magaga, I did your quest for you. Give me something nice. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Make Charlie and Melly. Charlie and Melly. Charlie and Melly's affinity go up. Yay, 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 yay. Cool, quest done. Sweet seduction. How fitting for a quest for such a one as Lady Megaga, Miss the master of sweet seduction. Oh, and look it, she even made some more affinity thing go up. 
Any more affinity ups? Okay, cool. Lady Magaga done. Now, one thing I haven't done is walk around here and talk to all the people that are blue on the map. Like, in a while. I've done that. You've seen me do that. I haven't done it in a while, is my point. Um, let's see. Should I just meet you when I get to all the people who, do, who want quests done? Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Like I usually do when I walk around here. It's just going to be like, here we go! Hey, look, it's Toddy. I think either he wanted me to do... Yeah, okay, he wanted me to do the one where I needed hold camouflage. I'm trying to remember which quest he wanted. Because there's still a couple no pawns I just need to talk to for a quest. It's not even that I need to finish a quest. What the heck? I didn't even finish the quest. What does he want from me now? What the heck? That must have been a quest for somebody else. Because I didn't get the quest finished. Whatever. Back to what I was doing. Okay, so we're over here, and now we need to talk to Cherry. Oh, Cherry's one of the people for one of the quests I need to finish. Yeah, she's the one that wanted the filtered water that I got from the secret area. Now what? Okay, apparently the quest is also not done. Was that a quest for somebody else, or what? Is that the second thing, that their second quest I've come across, where it was a quest for somebody else, and then they had me do something for somebody else? Now I gotta check. Now I gotta check. Let's see, what was that one? Was that this one? No. That one's still not done, by the way. Uh, which one was it? This one. No, I gotta talk to Peppy Key. This one? Oh, return to Rasha. We gotta go find Rasha. No, no, no. Was Rasha somebody I already talked to? I don't remember. I might have to head back down to the bottom, because I think that's where Peepy Key is, too. After we talk to the dude down in the basement, I think we're supposed to go back to somebody out in the middle area. Whatever, right now I'm just trying to talk to every no pawn that's blue because I need to make sure I don't miss the ones that I have to talk to for the quest that I was doing. Anyway, I accidentally fell down and here is, uh, which one is it? Oh, here's Rasha Na Na Na, which is the person I just did the quest for. Cool. I helped Cherry. Now Rasha Na Na has been talked to, and now we get the quest complete. Yay! Another quest, we can check off our list of done. Make sure there's no more here. Just give a couple talks to Rasha and make sure. Okay, cool. Now let's make sure Pee Pee Key's not around here too. He might be, or it might be, I should say. Just double check. Otherwise I'll meet you. Nope, never mind, here he is. Pee Key, I had a feeling he was in this area. I, I remembered the name. Yeah, yeah, another quest done. Super sweet. Come on, we got we got rid of the noises from below that you were trying to get rid of. And of course, all we get is a panther top. Oh, look, another quest. Big fucking surprise. It's Nopon Sage, of course. He lived by waterfall. If you ask Nopon Sage, he grants your wish. Ah, Pee Key almost reveals secret. Friends not want to meet Nopon Sage? He no like no eat no so friend bring offering. He wants a food offering. Oh god. Oh god, it's one of these kind of things where it's like, I don't want to do it, but they want me to do it secretly. Oh look, we already got the thing we needed though. Skewcumbers. Skewcumbers. But I bet you we need to take them somewhere. Let's check and see what we gotta exactly do for this quest, just so I have it in mind. Oh uh, yeah, honoring the Nopon Sage. Oh, we, never mind. We do have nowhere near the things we need. We need to get three lots of juicy Laya fish from Chlorolias. Okay, well, <coughs> we'll have to do that while we're back in there at sea. And four benign crickets, which apparently we don't have. Awesome. Yet another item I need to wander around Machna Forest for. Yeah, like I didn't have enough of that already. Well then, 
I'll just meet you at the next no pond that makes any sense to me at all. Alright, well here isn't a no pond where I'm finishing quest, but here's a no pond that has another new quest. Hey ya. Apis gold nuggets. Oh, of course, some gold nuggets from a monster I probably Yep. How did I know? Monsters that I can't actually get well, not that I can't get it yet, but I haven't seen yet. At least I have the quest, so I know I have to do it. Then again, if I had gotten one while I was doing the mountain, I probably would have been like, oh, I need five of those. But now I know I need five of those before I need to, before I know. Or before I've been there or whatever. So I know I'll have to kill five of what, at least five of whatever. Wait, speaking of that, I just talked to that person and then it opened up a new quest. Why am I still talking anyway? So luckily that brought up a new quest. That worked out nicely, I guess. Pachipa. Give me your quest, bitch. What would you like me to do? Kill turtles or collect turtles? I missed what she said. What does she want me to do? Bash to Mount Tortoise? Mount Tortoise. Oh, those are the giant turtles back on the Bionis leg. Remember when I was scared as shit by those things? Well, last time I was there, which actually wasn't too long ago. Well, it's been a while now. I haven't played this game for... Or at least I haven't played a wandering... I haven't wandered around in this game for almost a month. Until, like, yesterday or whenever I was wandering around. Oh, was that two days ago? Whatever. Um, Back in Gar Plains, there's those giant turtle mountain things. Yeah, I can now kill those. Which, I just mean, now kill those means I'm high enough level. They were only, like, level 30-something, so I can kill them easily now. Anyway, here's another uh, freaking no pond that has another quest. Wow, I haven't needed to cut. How nice is it when I don't have to cut and I can just find something new to do while I'm in mid uh, good explanation? Ashy Orluga. Is that a specific Orluga that you would like me to kill? No, that's three of them. No pond arch in Machna Forest. I don't think I've ever seen an Ashy Orluga. There must be special that are not there. Oh, I see. I see. They're in a new spot that I haven't been. Or I've been, but haven't um, exactly been to a lot. Anyway, it's a new enemy. Ashy or Luga. We'll have to kill some of those. Uh, I don't see any more nearby quest thingies, so I'll just see what the next one I find. Okay, wait. Here's Lupa. Do I need Lupa for a quest? Or is this one of those people I just need to talk to for that one quest? Because I've been looking all over for those people I need to talk to, and that's the first one I've found. Oh, and plus Lupa has her own quest, or what? Wouldn't that be awesome? You need to talk to her for a quest, plus she has her own quest. How awesome is that? Oh, or do you want to actually go there? Oh no, she wants me to take something to her. Never mind. I thought maybe she wanted to move to Colony 6. Because there seems to be a lot of characters that you can actually move into Colony 6 once you, while you're rebuilding it. Anyways, we need to f help Grandpa, uh, Grampy Pawn. We need some materials for the elixir. Some Something tells me it's going to be a quest within a quest. Because she's going to tell me all the items I need after she has a quest. So I got the Hades Beetle. I got the Potent Brog Poison. And I don't have the third item, which I missed what the name of it was. Let's see what it is, shall we? Oops, wrong thing. Idiota, that is not your quest log. You idiot. We're actually running out of quests here in, in uh, Frontier Village. It's interesting. Material Quest 3 is in a different place. That's that's kind of weird. you think mater that Material Quest would be like a whole other area. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of new quests that I didn't have before. All of them seem pr pretty easy, though. Materials, and what are those materials? All-seeing eyes from jungle quad wings. Wow, I fought so many of those, and I don't have three of those? Well, I guess we'll be doing that while we walk around as well. And... Let's see... We still gotta find Rono. We haven't found Rono yet. And we need to find one more no pawn to talk to for that quest. So, still got a couple more quests to finish up while I'm walking around here. So, I'm still going to keep looking around. Okay, here's Modamo, who has a red exclamation point. Must be the last one I need to talk to for that other quest. Because this is definitely not Rono. 
It's not Tony Rono. And it looks like I'm now officially done with that other quest, so we probably gotta go back and talk to the person who started that quest. Which I have no idea where that person is either, but when we find him or Rono, I'll let you know. Hey look, I found Rono. He's over here by the mill at night time. Hi, Rono. I got your shit so you can go have your fucking... Your freaking prom party you wanted to have or whatever it is. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Do you know what a mixer is? It very handy. Hom hom, I don't want to get one made for me. Must talk to a hom hom who is good with machines. So you have to use Shulk to talk to him? I was about to say, what the hell's going on? How lame is that shit? Well, fuck that. I'm leaving Charlotte Melly in in the off chance that they might get some affinity for each other. But I guess we gotta talk to him with Shulk. I guess Shulk is the one that creative created the stuff back at the thingy in Colony 9, because that was what this, this is the quest that that was for, yeah. It's been that long. That was like the first thing I did in this video, in this quest fest, and now I'm finally finishing the quest. So now he can go have his goddamn frat party that he wanted to have, and have his fat orgy that he wanted to have with all his no pawn bitches. Alright, back to my party the way I had it. As fun as it is to have Shulk back in there from the moment. I gotta stick to my plan until I finish the quest. Not, well, until until I max out their affinity, really. I mean, I'm gonna be trying a lot of different combinations of uh, my crew until I get the, you know, affinity, everybody's affinity up. I want everybody's skill trees to be pretty awesome. So it might be a while. Anyway, I'll meet you at the last no pawn that has the ending of that other quest. Oh look, another new quest over here by the fountain in the middle. Banna apparently has more new quests. Yeah, Banna, we can deal with your monster egg. And where the hell am I supposed to get a monster egg anyway? Do I just take it from any monster that I so choose, or do you want a monster egg from a specific monster? She doesn't even want the egg once I get it. Twisted Tree Gate? Well, that's easy. That's like right outside this place. I can do that. Something's probably guarding it, though. And if it's fucking giant spiders, I swear to God, I'm gonna destroy the snow pond to no end if it's fucking giant spiders. I swear to Jesus. Now, where the hell is the last snow pond? I've already went pretty much all the way up and down. Unless the no pond I need to talk to for the ending of that quest is outside. I'll just meet you at another no pond that has a quest. How about that? Okay, I finally found Liku, bitch ass. Liku over here. I always forget what none of these bitches are. Oh, Liku, by the way, is the one I needed to talk to for the quest. I I didn't realize the name of the no pawn I needed to talk to to finish that quest. I found him. Yay. Plays defense to the fourth power. Cool. Does he have another quest? No, but one of these other no-pawns does. Hey, quit walking away from me, Kalaki. You, you can't get a quest and then walk away. You can't have a quest and then walk away. That's not acceptable. That is unacceptable, you little bitch. Hand over your quest before I chop your little no pawnish ballas off. Two tasty Ansel Wings from Machna Ansels. Oh, great. More more stuff from monsters in Machna Forest. Like I haven't been walking around there enough. Oh, look. It's something I already have. Makes it even easier on me, doesn't it? Super sweet. Something I don't even need to think about. Already done. Fantasticals. Yay. Quest done. Yay! Oh god. Now Leku's got another quest. What are they, just like trading quests back and forth? Good lord. These kids and their quests. Silly kids. Quests are for children. Bash an obsessive Galgaron in the area of Hodlair. Hodlair. Speaking of the Hodlair, I wonder how you get inside. Every time I go by there, it's, you know, it's got the like, there's like a gate on it. And it just says locked. It doesn't really say how you can get in. I assume there's a key, or, the, or it's just open at certain times. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Anyway, I don't think there's anything left here in, Ma in the village that I know of that I can do. I mean, unless there's a quest I missed. But there's always a chance that that happened. 
But we're not going to worry about it at this current moment in time. What we are going to do is we're going to start off by hitting up some of these quests that we just got. So let's start with... Actually, I know exactly which one I'm going to start with. I'll meet you there. Alright, so we're back here in Gar Plains. Yeah, you didn't expect that. It's time to take out some of these Mount Tortas, which are only level 32? Wow, heck a week. Remember when I saw these at the beginning of the game and I was like, Oh my god, those are scary looking. 32. Oh, they're such babies. Babies! They're babies! Mmm, babies. Well, they're not such... They're, they definitely don't look like babies, but they're definitely babies when it comes to level. Fuck, they're 13 levels behind me, and I'm not we're nowhere near anywhere in this game. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know how to gauge how far I am really in this game. I mean, I'm still technically at the halfway point, because I last big thing I did was Prison Island. I haven't done any much after since I've done that. So you could still consider me at the halfway point or slightly past. Anyway, we have to kill two of these mountain tor mountain mount tortoise who drop clear torta soup. Mmm, delicious. So we gotta kill one more of those bitches. And I know it's it's been a long time coming, but we're still not high enough level to go back and defeat our nemesis of the anal rape monkey, which I don't remember the name of, but we'll we'll have our revenge in the sun one of these days against the anal rape monkey. It just it's gonna be a while. We're still about 50, 40 levels short of fighting that guy. But when we get a chance, dude, we will have our revenge. We shall have our revenge. No one rapes me and never gets their comeuppance. He will get it. His justice or um, punishment. That's the word I'm looking for. He will receive the punishment he deserves. Courtesy of moi. Until then, I start with these torti, which I never had trouble with when I walked through here because they're so slow and they were easy to avoid. Just walked right through here and never had to fight one. But now I've killed two. Fun. Quest done. Wait. Did the quest finish? Wait a second. The quest did finish, right? Maybe I just have to go back and talk to her? The no pawn that asked me to do it? It must be because I was like, what the fuck? Is it that one? No. It was this one. Yeah, okay. That one's done. We just gotta go back and talk to the nopon who wanted me to do it. In fact, I would do that, but I don't wanna. Now, there's one other thing I gotta do here in Gar Plains, but I've been dreading it so much. Ugh, I don't wanna even try to do it, but I think I will, just to see. Okay, so before we deal with the quest I'm dreading so much, I actually wanna learn how to gem craft. Yes, this quest... Fest will actually accomplish something I've been meaning to accomplish forever. And that is learning how to gem craft, which probably just requires a certain items, and then based on which items you use, you can make better gems. I'm it's probably not even that like a big deal. I just haven't wanted to do it because I always have more gems than I need as it is. Uh, anywho, how to create an ether gem. First, select the ether crystals to put into the furnace. Only ether crystals of the same rank can be put into the furnace at the same time. When the strength of a certain crystality exceeds 100% and an ether gem of with that quality will be formed. Good to know. Put crystals with matching qualities into the furnace so the total strength of quality you are before is 100. When the strength of quality is 100, you will have already put in crystals you cannot add anymore. Yay. After selecting crystals you wish to use, select who will craft. Gym crafting care by two party members. One is the shooter and one's the engineer. Use whatever to highlight a party member. Press A to select them. The shooter will shoot several times during gem crafting. The result will depend on the abilities of the two party members. Party members have different abilities depending on whether they are acting. More likely to enter a fever state. Crafting with a strong flame of quality. Strong flame. Medium fills the cylinder. I'm so confused. Why is this so more complicated than it needs to be? Uh, receiving gems and cylinders. Qualities which exceed a strength of 100% during gem crafting will become ether gems. Qualities that do not exceed 100% can become cylinders. One quality for each time you have filled the cylinder gauge. Cylinders can be used again in gem crafting just like crystals. So gem crafting is actually a thing you have to learn how to like do. It's not just, it's not just a thing you can just make items willy-nilly. 
Oh man, this is this is, this is complicated, man. Complicated ass shit. Okay, well, the reason I came here is to see if I could make a specific kind of gem. I'll see if I even have anything that has the uh, the freaking bonus. Though I haven't even checked. I would imagine it would be an earth one, maybe. Do I have any pretty earth crystals? I have pretty electric. Earth would be brown, right? Must not have any pretty ones. Might have some regular ones, though. Wait, earth ones are orange. Okay. Makes sense. Um, it doesn't look like they're... They are orange. I mean, they might be orange. I don't know if I can make... Doesn't look like I can make anything with the bonus that I want. Oh, never mind. There it is. There it is. You know what it is. Going for that Earth Cloak, baby. Damn it, but I need something else that makes it go up to 100. Shit, I might not have another item that helps. Shit, I might not have... Damn it! I don't have any more items that are gonna help me. Uh. Why can't something else have Earth Cloak on it besides the Earth fucking Crystal? Ugh, lame. I need more Earth Crystals, man. Ones that have Earth Cloak on them. I don't even know what else to say. Is 98% enough? Can we try it? It's almost 100%. Let's try it with, uh... Her and, uh... Oh, does affinity matter? Affinity might matter. Let's just do it with our highest affinity people. Maybe that'll really help. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's just try one with people with high affinity just to see how it works. I, am all over I don't even it. know what I'm supposed to, to do. Let's do this. All right. Woo. All right. Awesome. All right. There we um, go. Awesome. All right. I don't know what I need to do. Awesome. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just keep mashing A? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I got an Earth Cloak plus two. Nope, didn't do anything I thought it was going to do. Whatever, I'll take it. I'm done. I'm done with this. So the only way I can do the Earth Cloak thing that I want to do is to level up. Or not level up, but get more Earth Crystals. Wow, gym crafting, not what I expected at all. Wait, the gym craft guy has a quest now? What the heck? You ever heard of a mobile furnace? Mobile? Mobile furnace? What? I just got one of those. I just got a mobile furnace earlier from Colony 6. Are you shitting me? I already did this. Yeah, I did. Done. Done, sir. I already got what you needed. Yeah, done. Whoopsie daisy. Done. What does that even accomplish? Does that help me, like, gemcraft even better? Oh, I can craft gems whenever I want. That's what somebody told me in my comments. Now I'm remembering. Sweet. Now I never have to come back here again to gem craft. I can do whatever and wherever I want. That is actually very useful. Yay. Well, in that case, we're not going to do the earth cloak thing I wanted to try right now since I can't do what I want to do. So instead, we're going to do, I don't know, something else. Let's find out. Oh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we definitely need to go back to where? Machna Forest is duh. Wait, where's that one at? Hold Lair? Oh man, we need to go all the way over there. Oh god. Machna Forest is seeming like the place. Yep. Oh yeah, we gotta go kill some Ash or Lugas. We gotta go get some all-seeing eyes from quad wings. Okay, yeah. So we'll go back to Machna Forest. 
And I'll just meet you at the first thing I decide to do. Whatever that is. 